In this video, we're going to talk about the harmonic series, which, after the geometric series, is one of the most important series to understand. This is the series adding up 1 over n, so 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth, and so on. Does it converge, or does it diverge? Now, I'll recall that to figure out convergence of a series, we look to the partial sums and take the limit of the partial sums as n goes to infinity. So, in this case, if I try to figure out what, say, s2 is, well, this is adding up the first two terms, 1 plus a half. Now, I'm going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to investigate S3. I'm going to skip right to S4, which is 2 squared. And if I investigate S4, it's 1 and a half and a third and a quarter. But notice how I've highlighted the 1 third and the 1 quarter. Whatever this is, this is going to be bigger than if I replace the 1 third with just another 1 quarter. Isn't it bigger than 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus a quarter? I'm, I'm doing this little inequality here. I'll, I'll show you why in a second. Well... If this is the case, a quarter and a quarter is a half, so I have a one plus one half and then another half. That, that is to say, I have one plus two halves, so it's certainly bigger than that. Okay, let me skip again, and I'm going to go to s sub two cubed, that is s sub eight, and I have to write it down a little bit smaller, so I'm going one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth plus a sixth plus a seventh plus an eighth, and I'm going to do a similar kind of trick. The one-third, I'm going to say, is indeed going to be bigger than the one-fourth. So I'll do that. I'll replace the one-third with the one-fourth. But I'm also going to replace the one-fifth, the one-sixth, and the one-seventh with one-eighths. So I have four different one-eighths, and I have this inequality as a result. And then in much the same way that the quarter plus the quarter added up to a half, four copies of an eighth also adds up to one-half. So I have one plus a half plus a half plus a half, which is three halves. So indeed we have... 1 plus 3 halves. So notice the pattern here. When I take s sub 2 to the power of n, it appears to be bigger than 1 plus n divided by 2. So I haven't worried about the rest of the partial sequences, and I have an inequality here. Whatever this s sub n is, is actually bigger than this thing. So if this diverges, if this 1 plus n over 2 diverges, which it does, then that is going to mean that the entire thing diverges. So, so let's take that limit. Let's put a limit signs in front of this s sub 2n, which is the same thing as being bigger than the limit as n goes to infinity of this 1 plus n over 2. The right-hand side diverges to infinity, and so the limit of the partial sums, or at least these restricted ones, diverge. But even if just some of the partial sums diverge, as long as it regularly goes off towards infinity, then the whole thing diverges. It can't get close to a finite number like one. Every once in a while, it gets as large as you might wish. So what do we say? The harmonic series diverges. Now, the harmonic series is actually really, really cool. Not because it diverges, as it is an example of one that diverges, but because it diverges incredibly slowly. So, for example, suppose you wanted to get to the value of 2. You wanted to add up some number of these terms from the harmonic series you want to get to 2. Well, if you take 1 and a half and a third and a quarter, adding those four terms gets you over 2. So you only need four terms to get to bigger than 2. But how many terms do you think you might need to add up to say, oh, I don't know, what's not so large? A hundred, okay? Now, admittedly, it's going to take a lot of terms. You start adding things like 1 one hundredth, 1 101, 1 102. These are really small numbers. So, to add up to 100, you're going to need a lot. But how many do you really need? Well, it turns out, if you want to add up to 100, you need more than 10 to the power of 43 to be able to add up to 100. So, that's only to get to 100. To get to much larger numbers, like a thousand or a million or a billion, and indeed this goes on to infinity, it diverges, you're going to need absolutely enormous number of terms. So this is a fun example of mathematics of a series that does diverge. You keep on adding these terms, it's not going to converge to a value like 1, the way the geometric series did that we saw before with r equal to a half. It is going to diverge to infinity. It can be as large as you may please. But to be as large as you may please, even just 100, you will need this enormous number, 10 to the 43 terms to be able to do so, which is absolutely crazy.